A 91-year-old woman trusted a Colorado moving company with all of her belongings. And when she packed up to live here, that was to be closer to family. And she says that trust was broken. Her stuff never made it to Colorado. No bed to sleep on, no couch to sit on either. And despite our best efforts, no answers from the company responsible. Here is Denver 7's Sloan Dickey. It's just, it's been horrible. 91-year-old June Ammond has only a few pieces of furniture. I just feel lost. Only a handful of clothes. Everything that she has to wear, right here. And no knowledge of where her belongings are. I just have nothing now. She moved from Arkansas to Colorado to be closer to family after her husband died. Thank gosh for the kids. Her family hired Alliance Moving and Storage to pack up her belongings and send them to her new home in Federal Heights. They made my life a living hell for the last two and a half weeks. That was on May 2nd. I would say I expected to see them the weekend after the move, which would have been like the 7th, 8th, 9th. So I've been expecting them since then. 26 days later, she has no idea when the belongings will arrive. June was forced to live in a hotel for two weeks before the family purchased a bed for her new home. Let down, taken advantage of, and not treated fairly. The contract for Alliance Moving and Storage says there are no guarantees made, expressed or implied regarding pack dates, load dates or delivery dates. I knew it wasn't going to be, you know, a quick trip. I figured we'd have to be in, you know, a hotel for a few days, but it ended up being 17 days that she was in a hotel and just the whole time never got anywhere. We reached out to Alliance Moving and Storage for clarification on when Gail's belongings might arrive. Are you not understanding what I'm saying? If you are not a client of ours, you can't speak with us. So I'm confused about where the miscommunication is. We didn't get the answers we were looking for. I get dropped off at a warehouse and then picked back up and delivered. And where is that warehouse? That's irrelevant. You're not the customer. I can't speak with you. Have a great day. Gail and June say their lives are being held hostage. I'm tired of fighting with these companies. Um frustrated. Now all they can do is wait and hope to get them back soon. Three weeks. It's just, I can't believe a company would do that or anyone. It just, it's horrible. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.